Hey guys, welcome back to another Home Fixers episode. So a few days ago our Wi-Fi stopped working and when I checked our router, all the lights were gone out. As you can see, it's all plugged in right now. And when I turn on the power, there's no light coming up. Usually there's a few green lights popping up around the area, but there's nothing. So let's see what's going on. Okay, first let's check the power cable. Let's see if there's any power coming in. Got the multimeter on DC volts. One probe on the outer layer, one on the inner. We have 12.25. And then I check the power brick. Output is 12 volts. So the power brick is working. Another thing I should try is resetting it. There's a reset button at the back here. So it's turned on at the moment. I'm gonna hold down the reset button for a few seconds. I held it down for about 10 to 15 seconds and still there's nothing. So let's open this up. There's two Phillips head screws here. The front plate is out. After a visual check on this side, there's nothing obviously wrong. Let's check if the main power rail is okay. The multimeter is on diode mode. I'm gonna take a ground point. It's probably a ground point here. This is where the power comes in, down here. So these two are ground. That's the positive rail. And the positive rail seems to be okay. Take off these antennas. Everything looks okay. I'm gonna go around the board on diode mode and see if I find anything odd. Okay, so it's plugged in at the moment. I'm on DC volts. We have 12.25 coming in. And I followed that, it comes to the power button over here. So all these four pins get the 12.25. And these bottom ones have nothing. You see here. So when I turn on the power and check, now it's jumping all over the place can you see and even the bottom pins it's the same thing so what i did was i followed that trace if i go on those two pins on the other side it comes to this diode over here can you see 0 0.000 so when i check the diode this way it shows 0 0.199 and the other way it shows 0 0.579 Usually a diode is not supposed to show a reading one way, the other way it shows. So what I'm going to try is take this diode out and test it off circuit. Okay, let's test it again. 0 0.201 that way and there's nothing showing the other way. So the diode is fine. Let's check that component after the diode. So this is where the diode was. I have no idea what this one is. Let's just go across and see what it shows. It shows 0, 0, 0, 0 that way. And this way also it will show 0, 0, 0, 0. Yeah. Is that a fuse? Maybe it's a fuse. Let's see if we can find that part online. Can't find the data sheet online. I'm gonna check this component against the ground. It's 0, 0, 0, 0 from one side. And same on the other. And this side of the diode is 0 as well. But it's on the same pad here. This side is 0.578. So this is where the 12 volts come in. But why is this ground? It doesn't make sense. The power has to go through to this side. And I don't think this should be ground. Let me just take off this component as well. I just want to check the ground pads on here, under there.
okay if you take a look at the board there under that component it shows a diode mark so this is supposed to be a diode 2 but why was it showing 0000, 0, 0, 0? That's not right. Let's test it outside the circuit. Okay, I'm on diode mode. There's nothing on that side. And nothing showing on this side as well. Why is that? Something's not right. Let's use the component tester to test it out. First, let's put the other diode on the tester. Okay, so it shows as a diode. Now let's put the other one. So this one's testing as a capacitor even though on the board it had the diode marking. I don't know if the component's faulty or not. Let's check the pads on the board. So this was showing 5.84, that's same. This was showing 0, 0, 0, 0. Still the same. Same here. Going on here. That's 0, 0, 0, 0 as well. I believe this line shouldn't be 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's check how many ohms it is compared to the ground point so if we test here 0.5 ohms if i test the ground okay so the ground is 0 0.00 to 0 0.2 okay let's come in 12 volts onto that pad and see if anything's gonna take up voltage and it's set to 12 volts let's come in here okay something's taking 2 amps Something at the back here is getting really hot. Okay, since it's hard to put in power while the board is the other way, I'm gonna connect a wire to that point and then inject the voltage and then we'll find out what's getting hot. Okay, let's flip this around now. Let's go under the microscope. Something over here is getting hot. Okay, let's put some IPA. Then come in with the power. Let me zoom in. Take a look at this capacitor, this second one from the top. Then inject the power. All the IP around it evaporates. Can you see that? Let's take it off. So what I'm gonna do now is get a capacitor that's the same size as this from a donor board. Okay, I have a different router board here. Okay, this right here looks the same. Let's take that out. Okay, if you take a look here now, 0 0.434 and it's the same here as well. So let's put those two diodes back and test it. Okay, so that's the router near the NBN box. The power adapter is connected. Let's Turn it on, the internet cable is connected, and we have Wi-Fi and internet.